in the ancient land of Egypt, where the crafts of war and weaving intertwine and the mysteries of creation are revered, the story of Neith, the goddess of war, weaving and wisdom, unfolds. Neith, the primordial and multifaceted deity, stands as a symbol of creation protection and the enduring wisdom of the ancients. Her presence, both powerful and nurturing, embodies the essence of warfare, craftsmanship, and the primordial waters of creation. Neith, often depicted as a woman wearing the red crown of Lower Egypt and holding a bow and arrows or a weaving shuttle, signifies her role as both a warrior and a weaver. Her association with the red crown highlights her ancient and enduring influence over Lower Egypt and her role as a protector of the land. Neith's domain encompasses war, weaving, hunting and creation, making her a goddess of both conflict and craftsmanship, of both the tangible and the mystical. In ancient Egyptian mythology, Neith's origins are shrouded in the primordial waters of Nun, from which she emerged as one of the earliest deities. Neith is revered as the creator goddess who wove the cosmos into existence, her loom creating the fabric of the universe and bringing order to chaos. Her name, meaning the terrifying one, reflects her power and the reverence she commanded among both gods and mortals. Neith's mythology is rich with tales of her wisdom, her martial prowess and her creative power. One of the most significant stories is her role as the arbiter in the conflict between Horus and Set, where Neith's wisdom and authority were called upon to bring resolution and restore balance. In this role, Neith's decision to support Horus as the rightful ruler reflects her commitment to justice and the maintenance of Maat, the cosmic order. In the earthly realm, Neith's influence is evident in the dual aspects of her worship, as a goddess of war and hunting and as a patroness of weaving and domestic crafts. She is the patron goddess of soldiers and hunters, invoked for protection, strength and victory in battle and the hunt. Temples dedicated to Neith, such as the Grand Temple at Sais, stand as monuments to her enduring influence and reverence. These temples, centers of both martial and domestic worship, highlight Neith's multifaceted nature and her role in both protecting and nurturing the community. Priests and worshippers of Neith performed rituals and ceremonies to honor her, invoking her blessings for protection, craftsmanship, and wisdom. Neith's role extends to the afterlife, where she is invoked to protect the deceased and guide their souls through the dangers of the underworld. Her image, often depicted in tombs and temples, serves as a constant reminder of her protective and creative presence. Neith's teachings emphasize the importance of balance, the interplay between creation and destruction, and the wisdom that comes from understanding both. Her mythology also speaks to her role in the cosmic balance, where she ensures the harmony of the natural and divine worlds through her creative and protective powers. Neith's presence reassures us that we are guided and protected by a powerful and ancient force, ensuring the balance of creation and the wisdom of the ages. As we honor Neith, let us embrace her teachings, living with a deep respect for the crafts of war and weaving, the balance of creation and destruction, and the wisdom that guides us through life. Her legacy is a reminder that through craftsmanship comes creation, through protection comes safety, and through ancient wisdom comes understanding and harmony. And so, the legend of Neith endures, a timeless narrative that resonates within every thread woven, every arrow drawn, and every moment of ancient wisdom and protection. She is the goddess who inspires us to create with skill, to protect with strength, and to seek the wisdom that has guided humanity since the dawn of time. In the powerful presence of Neith, we find the strength to face our battles, the skill to craft our lives, and the assurance of ancient wisdom and protection. Her story is not just a myth, but a guiding light, showing us the path of creation, protection, and the enduring wisdom of the ancients.